The second day of Rally Poland saw the Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy runners head north to Goldap for a loop of three super fast gravel stages. And the popular Polish event was once again swamped with eager fans keen to catch a glimpse of the rallying stars. British crews led the way with the top three lockout, with Northern Ireland's John Armstrong top of the pile. Max Vatinen, runner up in Portugal, came to Poland with a new co driver, Maxine Vilmot, and with such a high commitment event, it was important that they gelled quickly together. And that meant some tyre change practice. It's very important to practice a tyre change because, in case of a puncture, or well, normally with DMAC, you don't get any puncture. But in case of a puncture, you, you don't lose too much time. And uh, it's important the driver and the core driver really know their role doing a tyre change and so that you're really efficient and you do it in, in less than two minutes. Why? Gus Greensmith held third overnight and was keen to improve on that position. But her faulty wheel bearing before the opening test today put pay to his challenge as he dropped time all day. However, he still maintained third place and is looking forward to showing his pace tomorrow. Frustrating, but um, there's always Finland and Finland's the, the one you kind of want to win first, isn't it? So it's, it's not all bad. We're still on the podium, still in third. So eight new tyres tomorrow, some stage wins and then it won't be such a bad weekend. Overnight leader John Armstrong continued to demonstrate his rally-leading pace with another stage win. But he dropped out of the top spot on stage 14 after being held up by a slower competitor and dropped 40 seconds. He finishes the day in second place. Now we'll just keep going now and try and uh, keep positive and hopefully get a podium. But it was a perfect day for Ocean Price and Dale Furness. They benefited from Armstrong's misfortune and won five out of the seven stages to comfortably cruise into the lead. The round one winners have a strong lead now with just four stages remaining tomorrow. Yeah, good. We've had a good day, a good strong day. Uh, a few little issues here and there and a few little mistakes, but uh, generally the day's been sort of trouble-free and uh, keeping out of the, the big ruts and uh, keeping the momentum going and we're in a good position for tomorrow. So round one winner Oshin Price is in pole position to lift the first two prize drives. He's got a comfortable 43.8 second lead over John Armstrong with Greensmith holding on to third. Bernardo Sosa is fourth with Max Vatanen rounding out the top five.